Okay. So as like I was just saying, Alexa volume down. Hey, butterflies. <laughs> but as I was just saying on the aspect of being specific on what we want and what we desire, even down to love, like, so we can't just be saying, I want someone to love me. And die. like, because these people have been coming in and loving us. They've just been loving in a way that they know love. And it's like, as you go through experience, you become more specific on what type of love are you open to? What type of love do you want in your life? You get what I'm saying? I was talking with my sister and I said, crackheads be having some of the most strongest loving bonds ever okay you can say everything that you want and the spirit will send you a crackhead and that crackhead will give you everything that you want they may have some other flaws along with it right so it's like you gotta be specific on what you want and i ain't saying nothing against crackheads okay we all live in our journey okay and baby when they smoke that thing they be in a whole nother universe okay they be in another world okay And so this energy is giving this vibe of <laughs> spirit always. <laughs> Let me get another card out. Hold on. They are very resourceful. Like literally it's a lot of skills. Like a lot of the people that, that the society be throwing away, they have a lot of skills that be needed that you could learn from very much. So, okay. I really feel like, you know what I'm saying, my parents' time, you know what I'm saying, when they was on that shit, I feel like it taught them a lot of stuff too, you know what I'm saying? Because, baby, I be like, how do you even think like this? Like, what? Like, they be, okay, they can build a car out of twigs, okay? And be like, what type of superhuman are you? Okay? <laughs> what type of superhuman are you? <laughs> yes they is giving a vibe of like silent earth angels like because society has made us to fear certain people but some of those same people that society has pushed us to fear they're like earth angels in a way you know what i'm saying like i didn't have i didn't learn some lessons from crackhead we had a crackhead Growing up, his name was Snowball. You know, Snowball was very intelligent, actually. He got drugged. And he was never the same after that. I know one of our old drum majors, same thing. He smoked some bad shit. And then all of a sudden, now his head is, you know what I'm saying? So we never know someone's story that get them to that place, you know? Um, my mom, very intelligent. You know, and it's like once she told me her story of what got her going into it, you know, and then her dad dying, you know what I'm saying? Within a few months, we take it away. You know what I'm saying? And so you never know someone's story. Okay. And what you can learn and get from someone. So never feel like you're too good. Like, and I think that's why, like, when every time I go to the hood, like, the hood love me. And I love the hood, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from the hood, right? So I'm always there. And so the other day, so I was just like, let me fix that for you. You know what I'm saying? He got down on the ground, got his stomach. He fixed my car. No expectations of nothing back. But an ordinary person probably would have been afraid to even talk back to him when he communicated with him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, never be afraid to open yourself up to different or someone who you feel like is different from you because anyone can be your muse or you may be a muse to another person. You know? Mm. We learn a lot. And the thing is, is understanding that they 
create some type of chemical change in that person, you know? And so that's the other thing we have to understand as well. So yes, although certain things are still visible and present, but understand that there's still another side that's there as well, you know, and that's where the boundaries come in. But, you know, would I move a crackhead into my house? No. Okay. I wouldn't do that. Okay. But would I turn my cheek and just totally run off when I see one if I'm outside. No, I'm going to nod my head. I'm going to say hi. You know what I'm saying? And keep it pushing. it. Because most times they just want to be seen. Okay. I remember one time I went to uh, my taco stand or whatever. And the song that was playing was Walk Away From Love by David Ruffin. And it was too, it was, they're visibly addicted to something. Right. And they just the dance and having a good ass time. Okay. Dancing with that music playing. And I'm like, baby, get it. Okay. I smile, nod, and order my food. Baby, get it. Okay. Listen, you better feel good. Okay. That's exactly what it is. They're looking to get that first high back. Yep. That's what it always is. Hey, natural beauty pool. So the energy that I had titled this was decoding the signs. I titled this as decoding the signs. And it was a lot of the energy on, are you able to see the signs when they're present in front of you and what they mean? Of opening yourself up to the signs, opening yourself up to what the signs mean, what they're trying to tell you, what they're trying to show you. Do you pay attention to them when you see them? The, feel, the moments that feel like a coincidence. The moments when you keep seeing something or you keep feeling something, you keep thinking something. I'm hearing it's darkest before, you know what I'm saying, the light. And then it makes you think of the aspect of the sunset as the endings and the sunrise as the new beginnings. You have the chariot in the upright, the eight of cups in reverse, and then the high infant in the reverse. I just heard headed in the right direction by India Ari. But it's something about paying attention to the signs. Because the Eight of Cups in reverse and the High Armor in the reverse, it can give a vibe of not leaving some type of teaching behind that needs to be left behind. Um, leaving some type of belief or perception behind. Something has not been left behind. Something is like, you see these cups and how the cups, they're broken. The chalices are broken, you know, and so the water as it's catching the rain they're still pouring out of it because the chalice is broken versus in the upright, the chalices are whole and he's walking away in peace. This gives a vibe of someone trying to hold on to a, oh, oh my left hand is itching. Someone trying to hold on to an old belief or an old way of being, um, an old way of looking at something, like they're trying to turn it in a way that works for them to try to keep these old teachings, but it's not in their best interest. So something in this level up that you're going through cannot go with you. You got to leave some type of belief behind, some type of perception, some type of understanding. And you've been feeling convicted about this lately. You've been feeling convicted about this, okay? And it's a lot of different things. So I'm getting ideas in my head of what it is that you all are going through, but I'm not about to start naming them off. I'm not. You know what it is, okay? But there is an old teaching that you're trying to take with you with this new knowledge, but with this new knowledge, you have to let go of this old way. This old way is getting in the way of this new journey, this new path. And it needs to be switched over. This left hand is itching. So it's just like you're losing just as much as you're gaining, you're losing. So it's kind of like it's giving this vibe of staying afloat. You don't want to just stay afloat. You're in the season of thriving. You've been afloat this whole time. So all the beliefs that you've been following that kept you staying afloat, you got to let it go. 
Because now you're on the belief system and the frequency of staying up. You know what I'm saying? You up. Ain't no staying afloat, baby. You in the air. You in a float. Okay. It's giving that vibe. Have y'all ever seen? Um, I'm I'm seeing this meme, and it shows two pictures. It's like before my spiritual awakening, and it's a girl laying there, and it looked someone like it looked like a boot is on her, holding her down in the mud. And then it says after spiritual awakening, and it shows that her hand is in the boot, holding herself in the mud. So it's like there's a certain level of awareness that you've walked into that you need to accept that. I have to take this responsibility. I have to, I can't keep pushing this out here. I can't keep putting this on that. I can't keep blaming this on that. I can't keep um, implementing this because it's not benefiting me in the way that I thought that it was. Okay. Say, all I'm gonna say is plenty of fish in the sea. Y'all, the way this hand is itching, and if you know, you know. This is getting very, it's getting stronger, okay? It's like, it's getting stronger. The conviction keeps getting stronger. It's been getting stronger. It's like, some of y'all may have been having some issues sleeping at night because you know that like, you can't run from it now. It's like once, and we were just talking about this last night actually, once you become aware of something, you can't act like you never seen it before. You can't act like you didn't experience it. Cause once you experience it once, it's like, like we were just talking about the crackheads. They, they start, they want that high. They want to keep getting it back. Your spirit, ha your spirit got a, 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 a chance to touch on something new. Okay. A new energy. You got a, a taste of something. You got a taste of a different vibration and you're just like, Ooh, I want that back. But you got to let go of something else in order for you to keep that vibration, baby. In order for you to keep it. You got a taste of it. Yeah, you got justice, but justice is coming down the reverse. To come out on top of the chariot in the upright. So headed in the right direction. But some may be, you know what I'm saying, trying to slow some down. And that's lack of accountability. Something is no longer doing justice on your journey, something you need to a bid well, you need to give farewell to, you know, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your service. But I now have to move on. Um, we're done here. Something has to be bid adieu from your journey for in order for you to continue along into this next frequency vibration that you've been experiencing in order for you to keep it. You have to allow yourself to stay on and you have to bid adieu all the old portals and energies. Oh my gosh, it's to the point where my vein is sticking out, y'all. Oh. And the song, what is this? Go figure, you were the trigger. So if it's you staying in situations that are triggering or if you're around people who trigger you, because certain triggers are okay, but it makes me think of how the message came out last night in the aspect of people are like portals. So whether they're a portal to our past or they're a portal to our future. Someone needs to let go of a portal to the past. That could be a job. That could be a friend. That could be a family member. That could be a lover. It could be a behavior. It could be a place that you go to or frequent and you just you realize you need to, I need to stop going here. Okay. Yeah, the five of pentacles. Been a minute, been a while. Ain't let nobody hit it since you hit it. 
And there's no me without you in it. All right, Five of Pentacles with the Magician coming out right after it, y'all, on top of the Hierophant. So to have the Magician coming out on top of the Hierophant is like someone trying to create something from broken knowledge, broken, it's given institutionalization. Someone who has an institutionalized mindset and they're taking that institutionalized mindset and implementing it into something different. And institutionalization is more than just schooling. It, it can be the mindset of, you know, I got to hustle super hard in order for more to come to me. And it's just like, are you ready to release that that mindset and belief that you have to work harder and more to attribute more versus just aligning yourself completely with what you deserve, who you are, and the people who understand that and respect that? Okay. So this is something about you becoming that magician because this eight of cups energy of trying to keep this past energy and refusing to fully let it go is bringing the five of pentacles. So your five of pentacles ain't got nothing to do with how good you are. It ain't got nothing to do with how much work you putting in. Okay. You got millionaires out here who work one day a week. Okay. You have millionaires out here who work one day a week. It's all about how you you set yourself up, the spaces you put your yourself in. Doing what you truly want to do and not what you feel like you have to do to pay the bills. Y'all, my vein is popping out. Some of y'all may have been going through high blood pressure. You may have been having some issues, like some potential issues with like your heart. Spirit is saying it's because of your environment energies and you're pushing yourself in a way that you don't need to push yourself. Okay. You may have even had some histories of aneurysms or you may have heard of someone having an aneurysm problem recently or someone passing away from an aneurysm or people passing away younger. Okay. And it's because they work and they ask us all because, oh, I'm going to make it to retirement. Who said you got to keep doing all that till you get to 65, baby? You can retire early than that if you want to. Set yourself up for it. But with it comes a lot of work sometimes, but you got to be okay. You got to be okay with it. If that's what you want. Or you can just accept where you're at and go with the flow of that as well. There's beauty in all things. Okay? But this Five of Pentacles coming out on top of the Eight of Cups, it's like... Someone needs to let something go completely, you know, and like I said, it's a lot of differences. Some of you all, it is dealing with like your spiritual beliefs. Okay. And I can't get away from that of realizing that, you know, your past spiritual beliefs, it ain't really got you nowhere. And you're just like, okay, I need to look at something a little bit differently. What am I not looking at in the way I need to? And in this magician energy, cause it's like, you don't want to be in the magician reverse. You're walking into your magician in the upright energy. So you walking into being that creator manifesting your true power it's like willpower i'm hearing drop the laziness too y'all the seven of cups is coming out that's the delusion and then judgment y'all come on now spirit ain't playing spirit preaching okay i'm just pulling cards and reading them that's it okay i just work here okay I love working here. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love working for spirit. Okay. Um, all right. What we got? <laughs> this is the ace of air. The one of air. Um, this is giving... Speaking from your soul. Speak. You know how last night I was having issues with my throat? And y'all know I've been having the blue light on for the night owl. That's throat chakra energy. That's speaking up about something. So this is giving a vibe of even like what you allow people to say to you and what they say, right? So for example, is give, let me give you this example. So, you know, some old people, older people, um, they, they're, they're embedded in their old ways of how they view women or Jezebels, right? And so they can see how I dress and, you know, I come off, I'm a, I come off with the goddess energy. I have very natural sex appeal, whether if I'm trying to be sexy or not, I can be on here with my robe, y'all. I had an ex who said, I just want to look at you in your robe reading a book that turned him on. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, 
People who got sex appeal can't help it. It's just there. You get what I'm saying? So, but some elders, they feel that like girls are being fast and things of this nature. And so she would say like, oh, you're being fast or, you know, that word was fast or being, um, it was another one that she said that's used as like a derogatory term. And it's like me choosing to be silent, right? No, speak up and say something about that. Like, I prefer to not to be addressed like that. Okay. I prefer to not be spoken to like that. Don't draw closer to them. Hoochie. Hoochie. You saying hot just remind hoochie. Okay. All I had on was a dress that fit my figure, okay? And I got a figure. I love my figure, okay? I'm sexy as hell. I know that, okay? But in this, is giving a vibe of speaking up in situations now because you know what you choose to accept, you create it as your reality. So every time you choose to keep being around them, okay, it's like you're accepting their perception of you. You need to reward people with your absence. You need to reward things with your absence a lot of times, with your boundaries. Okay. What's up with this Eight of Cups? All right, Spirit, what you got? For the Eight of Cups. You know, in this song, he's saying all these things of like what people say, like to come across as like this person. Someone needs to show up as their authentic self more. They hide themselves publicly in a manner where it's like they're defeating their soul because their soul wants to be seen. Their soul is calling for them to be seen. Their soul is calling for them to, to speak. What's up with this eight of cups? It's just giving contradicting energy, okay? Y'all, card number 21 with perception. So that's typically like the world. But in this deck, it's not completely um, aligned with traditional tarot. So to have perception come out and what were we literally just saying? Like I said, I just work here and pull cards, okay? <laughs> and share what spirit put on me to share. And the fact that perception is coming out and we're talking about throat chakra and we're talking about speaking out and we're talking about what we allow to Im 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 impede within our mind. We need to realize that all these things have some type of relationship with our perceptions and how we show up. Because if we're trying to purposely keep from showing certain parts of ourselves, we're altering our reality and we're altering our frequency and we're altering our portals. Okay. Something with this perception. Spirit, what's up with this perception? It's definitely giving another 333 energy. And 888. Loving me right. 
all night you could be making me cry. Careful what you take for granted. May you could do damage. You, you can do damage. Look, you do what you feel. You listen, and I'm sure you're doing amazing. All right, what's up with this hiram for energy spirit? Y'all, I just got, I don't know what it was. Like in that moment, I felt spirit pull me to a place where I was just like, I felt like I was being admired. Some of you all need to change your perception of people. Like some of you all may be thinking that a lot of people be talking about you and stuff behind your back and stuff. It's something about you mentally changing your perception of they admire me. Because I literally just sat here and I felt my energy go into a like, like someone, you know what I'm saying? Someone admiring you. So I'm getting this energy with the 333. You need to be shifting your perception of you don't have haters. You have admirers. They act that way because they admire you. Okay. Because if they didn't admire you, they wouldn't be giving you their energy. So in a way, it's kind of like they're paying a ticket to see your show. Because they're giving you your energy, their energy. Remember, energy, time, and money are all equivalent. So if someone is giving you their energy and their time, it's like they're giving you money. Okay? You need to switch around how you're viewing something. Y'all hear the ambulance in the background with the sirens? It's an emergency. I'm rushing in to handle mine. <laughs> Cause I gotta save up. Child, let me find out. Once you start pulling away even more, people gonna be like, Y'all, what's going on? Hold on. Spirit, give me a card. Give me a card. We're shifting. The, the energy is shifting in this reading, y'all. And it happens so fast. It happens so fast. So I don't know if somebody on here. Okay. I don't know. But something shifted. Like. Tell me, tell me you will, tell me you don't, tell me you will, tell me you won't. Oh, baby. She said, tell me what you want. This is giving the vibe of you're walking into a season where it's just like you're choosing things like a menu. Like a menu item. Like, tell me what you want. Like, you know, in the beginning of this session where we we're talking about, you know, when we tell the universe what we want and what we desire, putting it out like we're placing an order for a pizza in a way. Like, okay, we're putting in an order for a pizza. You need to realize that when people come into your energy, it's like you're the pizza that they ordered. So don't shift your frequency because your frequency attracted them because y'all then switch places. So I don't know if you've ever noticed if, you know, someone comes into your life or whatever, they needed your energy. And these are the people who leech off of it, not the people who give mutual. And all of a sudden you realize your energy kind of starts swapping. Okay. It's because you started taking on their perception. So that admiration they had for you. You start to have it for them. So you take on the energy that they were in and they take on your energy. But you're blocking that now. And the way you block that is that you keep a mindset of they admire me. Now you can love and admire them too. 
but don't allow it to shift to where now that admiration is going to another space. You get what I'm saying? So it's something about a shift of perception about losses, rejection, endings. Okay. Because someone may be in the rain because I'm hearing sunny days. Everybody loves them. Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? Watch out for how much rain people be in, though, okay? Because there's such thing as natural rain, okay? There's normal rain. There's normal rain. And after the rain, the sun be coming back out. Things is good again, okay? But some people just live in a storm. And it's just like, wait, hold on. Do you have your own storm creator Okay, are you a water bender and you're creating these storms? What is going on? Because why are you always in a storm? Why is there never any sun? You get what I'm saying? Because then you become their sun and you start drying up their water. But you got to think that water is not really drying up. It's being evaporated up into the sun. So as y'all trade places, all that shit start coming on to you. I don't think y'all hear me. Y'all hear me, okay? Y'all hear me? <laughs> With the six of air at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you wondering where all this precipitation coming from and how your mood and changed and how you don't got no motivation and you wondering what's, what's changing in your life, baby? Okay? <laughs> what, what's changed? Okay? Who energy you taking? Who energy you take and who energy you give too. You get what I'm saying? Pull that shit back. I recall all my energy back from anyone that is not on a reciprocal timeline as me. I will not be on a timeline of fear. I will always be on a timeline of love and protection. Knowing that I am always taken care of. Knowing that I will always be good. Know that I'm the one that people need to really be afraid of. Because I have so much protection that if you come after me, your life will fall apart. You have to speak to that shit. Okay? And it's like, I got reminded of that this morning with some things. I was sharing with some butterflies. And spirit put me in that to be reminded of, I don't have to accept that perception. I don't have to accept that energy. I don't have to accept that. I don't have to accept that as a fear to the point where now I'm changing my moves according to that. I don't be shifted by frequencies. I shift frequencies. I shift the weather. The weather doesn't shift me. That's where we have to allow ourselves to be at is where this energy is coming from with this 333 and this 888. Eight is the number of power, security. Three is the number of perception. And when you think about it, an eight is nothing but a completed three. With two C's, two small C's, okay? Copyright your energy. You copywriting your energy right now. <laughs> you copywriting your energy. Because you may have even found that you had people coming, they taking all your energy and then they going and taking it back to somebody else. And then when they run out, they come back for a, they, to get their cup refilled. Like, can I please get a crumble of energy? Because all they need is a little bit. All they need is a little bit. They don't need a lot. So you thinking that is nothing. But after a while, you like, damn, I've been. Damn, this pot getting empty. Okay, damn, this pot getting empty. This is getting real empty. Because they've been coming, getting a little nibble at a time. Okay, like a little mouse. Okay. Like a little winter mouse getting a little crumb at a time. Uh uh, a little church mouse. What's up with this um high infant energy? Baby, ain't no shifting. You shift this shit, okay? You shift this shit.
I'm just so good to be true. Someone here also, I mean, shit, I relate to that. Make sure the people that you choose to connect to is on the same emotional intelligence as you. Whatever you do, manifest emotional intelligence. Okay? Add that to your list. And make sure you're emotionally intelligent too. Because as you manifest it, you're going to become that thing that you manifest. Hey, Pooh! Okay, a card doesn't want to come out for that one. So, because baby, my hands is hurting from shuffling that big ass deck. Let me go to another deck. You have to. All right, what's up with this Hiram fan? Am I going to get a card from this deck? Is. <laughs> Use a bop. You got healing and nature. So you're getting back to what you do naturally with second nature. You're getting back to your natural self. So in a way, with this Hiram fan in the reverse, this coming out to clarify it, you're releasing old habits, old beliefs, old um, things that you've been taught that you realize does not align with who you are at the foundation of yourself anymore. Um, you're releasing these things from your reality. Ooh, that horn sounds so good. that horn be going on here man child i may have to risk the copyright on this one honey so with this nature and the healing alexa volume up alexa start song over <laughs> 